At this point, you're probably starting to wonder if humans have done anything right. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about the ozone layer, which is a really great example of how when humans come together, we can really facilitate change. Earth's atmosphere has several layers of different gases. We live in the troposphere, and about 30 miles up, you'll find the stratosphere. And within the stratosphere is our ozone layer. Ozone is a molecule that's made from oxygen. The oxygen that we breathe is O2. It's made from two oxygen atoms, while ozone is O3. It's made from three oxygen atoms, and we have a layer of this gas within our stratosphere. So why is the ozone layer so important? Well, the sun emits harmful ultraviolet or UV radiation. An exposure to UV radiation can cause mutations and lead to cancers. Our ozone layer blocks most of the harmful UV rays. Ozone is able to absorb the harsh radiation, while other molecules, like O2, cannot. If our greenhouse gases are like the blankets that keep Earth warm, then the ozone layer is like sunscreen that protects us from radiation. The ozone layer is vital for survival of life on Earth. And now for a story called How We Messed Everything Up Again, but then we fixed it, yay. So in the 1930s, we created a molecule called a CFC, or a chlorofluorocarbon, which isn't that complicated because it just tells us that the molecule has chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. Anyways, we use CFCs for refrigeration, air conditioning, aerosol cans, fire extinguishers, lots of things. They were non-toxic, non-reactive, and non-flammable. Sounds great. But then, the ozone layer began to thin. There was even a hole in the ozone layer forming over Australia and Antarctica. And then we figured it out. It was actually the CFCs making their way up to the stratosphere and reacting with the ozone in our ozone layer. Cases of skin cancer in Australia were increasing at an alarming rate and ozone continued to be depleted. This called for a global response. World leaders met in Canada and signed the Montreal Protocol, an agreement to stop the production of CFCs worldwide. An alternative molecule, an HFC, was used to replace CFCs. They worked just as well, but they did not react with ozone. Since the worldwide ban of CFCs, the ozone layer has slowly repaired itself. The story of the ozone layer shows us that environmental issues are a global problem and solutions must be made as an entire planet. The only way to really get people to change is through government regulation like policies, laws, and treaties. While we have yet to come to a world agreement about greenhouse gases and global warming, the ozone layer has taught us that policies can make change happen.